Hello my dear students in grade 9. This is Mr. Muhammad Sherbini. Today we'll talk about 4B, the great outdoors. One read A discuss Have you ever spent time on a farm? Would you like to? Why? Why not? Four B, the great outdoors. One, read. B, look at the picture. What do you think happened to Bill? Listen to the dialogue and check your answers. Then read it out in groups. You know what? I thought this agritourism would be a boring way to spend my time. Me too, but actually it's a good laugh. Yeah. Come on then, we can't waste our time chatting. There's work to be done. But Farmer Ted told us to take a break. Did he? OK, let's take some pictures since we've got some time to kill. But Bill's not here. Where is he, by the way? Here he comes now. What happened to you? Why don't you ask Tom? Did you do this, Tom? Don't talk nonsense. Of course I didn't. What are you talking about, Bill? OK, this is what happened. Farmer Ted told me to clean out the cow shed, so I went to get a bucket and spade from the shed. Then I saw Tom passing by. Remember, Tom? Yes. You asked me to tell you where the cow shed was. And you told me it was next to the farmhouse. It is, isn't it? No, that's Thunderbolt stable. Thunderbolt? The horse? Farmer Ted told us to steer clear of him. He's a wild one. I know, I know. I opened the door and it was quite dark, but I started cleaning anyway. The next thing I knew, something kicked me and I fell over. Into some mud? You. That's disgusting. Never mind. Let's get you cleaned up. Please, Bill. Can I take a picture first? See? Look at the phrases one to five from the dialogue and match them with the meanings A to E. One, it's a good laugh. Two, don't talk nonsense. Three, steer clear from. Four, the next thing I knew. Five, that's disgusting. A, all of a sudden. B, that's horrible. C. It's fun. D. Avoid. E. Stop saying silly things. Okay. What does number one mean? It's a good laugh. Very good, everyone. It means it's fun. What about number two? Don't talk nonsense. Well done. It means stop saying silly things. Number three, steer, steer clear from. What does it mean? Well done. It means avoid. Four, the next thing I knew. What does it mean? 
well done everyone it means all of a sudden what about number five that's disgusting it means that's horrible very good everyone let's move to our next exercise Two, vocabulary. Listen. What do the expressions in bold mean? Match them with the definitions A to H. One, my dad spends his free time making model planes. Two, stop wasting your time playing computer games. Do something useful. Three. You've got until the weekend to finish the project, so take your time. 4. Arnold is really busy, but he's going to try and make time to have coffee with his friends. 5. My parents always give me a hard time when I don't finish my homework. 6. My favourite sport is tennis, but I also play basketball from time to time. 7. We have some time to kill before lunch, so let's go for a walk. 8. Don't forget to wear your helmet at all times. After listening, Let's see what these expressions mean. Spends his free time. Wasting your time. Take your time. Make time. Give me hard time. From time to time. Have some time to kill. At all times. The meanings are A. Always. B. Find the time to do something. C. Sometimes. D. Pass the time. E. Make someone's life difficult. F. Don't hurry. G. Not use your time wisely. H. Have nothing to do. Okay, what about the first one? Spends his free time. Very good, everyone. It means pass the time. The next one, wasting your time, means very good. It means not using your time wisely. The third one, take your time, means what? Very good. It means, don't hurry. Number four, make time means, well done. It means, find the time to do something. The next one, give me hard time. What does it mean? Well done, everyone. It means, make someone's life difficult. From time to time, what does it mean? Very good, it means sometimes. Have some time to kill means what? Excellent choice. It means have nothing to do. The last one, all the times, what does it mean? Very good, it means always
Now let's move to the grammar. Today's grammar is about reported speech. Al-kalam al-manqul. We use reported speech to report somebody's speech to another body. لتبليغ شخص بكلام شخص آخر. Now let's see how it is formed. هيا نرى كيف يكون. To transform commands الأوامر from direct to reported speech من الكلام المباشر إلى الكلام المنقول We usually use the verbs tell يخبر order يأمر as reporting verbs Use the bucket to wash the car Don't make a mess My dad said My dad told me to use the bucket to wash the car and not to make a mess. To transform requests at talab from direct to reported speech, we usually use the verb ask yatlub as a reporting verb. John, please turn off the TV. George said. George asked John to turn the TV off. Now let's have some practice on reported speech. 1. Help me feed the horses, please. The farmer said to Darren. Ask. The farmer asked Darren to help him feed the horses. 2. Don't give me a hard time, my brother said. Tell. Very good. My brother told me not to give him a hard time. 3. Please clean the mud off your shoes, Harry said to Mike. Ask. Well done. Harry asked Mike to clean, off, to clean the mud off his shoes. 4. Don't move. The police officer said to the bank robber. Order. Well done. The police officer ordered the bank robber not to move. For more practice, go to your workbox pages 110 and 111. For any information, please contact me on this number. Till next time, goodbye everyone.